Alright, what's going on guys? It's Flame, and welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War video. Sorry for the lack of uploads recently, but, you know, we're hopping back into it today. So, recently they've actually been adding quite a few, um, Mastercraft or Ultra bundles, or whatever you want to call it. Basically, um, Treyarch games always have Mastercraft's, uh, vari variants of guns. Basically, Treyarch games always have Mastercraft's, which are basically variations of certain guns that um are significantly different looking and have a certain theme to them and they're usually like they change in like color or in style as you you know get kills in a game or whatever so yeah you could see here there's this aug variant and you can see that it goes from just being a default variant and then it starts to animate more and more as you get kills um so those are the reactive ultra ones and there's also other ones which are more like the master crafts which are very different in appearance i'm not sure if there's any in the store you've got this one which is another uh animated one you could see again it progresses as you go uh, the other day they actually added a new um master craft bundle that we've you know had leaks for for a bit now and we've been expecting and that is the ice drake um krig 6 so this is a master craft variant for the krig 6 and it is quite literally a dragon. It's got a special weapon inspect that we'll see in game that looks really cool. And it's got like kind of like tracer dismemberment rounds that are like frozen. So this this is honestly a really sick variant. Pretty sure the attachments that it has on it are already like default with the variant are pretty good. So we're gonna rock those and see how it goes. Um so yeah. Thank you all so much for the support on the videos recently. It does mean a lot to me. We are on the road to 300 subs. We're closing in on it. So if you're new, definitely don't forget to subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. Drop a like if you enjoy the video. Hit that post notification bell so you never miss an upload. And without further ado, let's hop into the game. Alright, so we're here in game. You can see this is the uh, new Krig 6. Um, I don't even know. Ice Strike, I think is what it's called. So, first thing we gotta do for sure is the weapon inspect, and as you can see, the gun quite literally flies out of your hands. Look at this. Like, this is so cool. And, I mean, the variant looks sick. The Krig 6 is... I mean, it's a gun that, like, a fair amount of people aren't really a fan of. I left that other game like I literally just don't have the patience to like get my ass whooped by these sweaty nerds that just are bound to destroy me because I have not like warmed up or anything I just don't care oh shit okay I got that kill anyways yeah you can see I made uh, some adjustments to my class setup on this basically the main thing is that the iron sights feel really I don't know, bulky, I guess, is the right word for it. They're just, like, cluttered, and they get in the way when you're trying to see, like, a bigger picture. So I swapped to this. Um, just the, um... Microflex, I think it's called. A lot better, in my opinion. And you can see this thing is, like, beaming. Absolute laser. Holy shit, they came behind me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But yeah, I think the Krig as a gun is a, is kind of like looked over. Okay, wow. I guess that's what I deserve. I don't know. But I think it's uh, kind of unappre unappreciated, underappreciated. I don't know. Um, holy shit, aim please. Oh, if I got away with that kill. Bruh. But yeah, I think it's underappreciated. I think it's definitely a good gun. I'm, I'm not using it in its... Oh, shit. Oh, he picked it up. Yeah, I'm not using it in its ideal sort of conditions. Wow, I cannot aim. Holy crap. Um, because, yeah, this gun, it's sort of... I mean, it's built really weird right now. Not in necessarily a bad way. But it's basically built 
for uh, close range engagements with the current setup that it has with like the um... wow with the um... what you call it raider stock it's meant for like movement speed and like close quarters combat but the Krig as a gun like by design is meant for like long range engagements it's sort of like one of those slower ADSing, slower firing assault rifles, which means you want to use it at a distance. Uh, you see a lot of pro players use it. Obviously, they, you know, GA'd the M4, which is a lot better in basically every category. But this gun, for all intents and purposes, is really good at just long range beams, low recoil, low fire rate. Um, slow ADS time in comparison, but it's still not bad. But yeah, it's a good gun, and uh, this variant... How many times do I have to hit this idiot? Spawn behind them. No, I left them at 1 HP, bruh. But yeah, this gun is uh, its pretty good. A lot of pro players use it. Um, and that and the QBZ um, is currently what's being used. But yeah, it's a good gun. Um, and this variant is like absolutely amazing. See, I think the problem that a lot of people had is that a lot of the variants in last year's COD game, Modern Warfare, um, a lot of the variants were just very underwhelming. As in, like, it didn't really feel like, and all the bundles are really overpriced. So it didn't really feel like you were getting your money's worth when you, you know, bought those bundles. Other than the tracer packs. But, like, in, in Treyarch games, holy, I just got beamed. In Treyarch games, you get variants like this. And this thing is beautiful. I mean, you get kind of like a tracer in the form of the dismemberment effect. Um, and you get obviously the whole dragon look, which is really sick, if you ask me. And you get, you just get a whole package really. Holy, I'm beaming people right now, and then I get tomahawked, like, bruh. This weapon inspect, though, like, I can't get over this, how cool this shit is. And DM Ultra looks sick on this bad boy, like, all the mastery camos do, actually. Um, it applies it to, like, the kind of, like, dragon scales. So... Gold camo looks good, diamond camo looks good, DM Ultra looks good. Haven't looked at the zombies camos, but I assume it kind of applies it using the same pattern. So it's probably really good too. That's another thing that's good. Because you work hard for these mastery camos, and then when you like apply to them to some variants, it just kind of ruins the point of the variant. But not this one, so that's good. The only gripe I really have is that if you decide to like change up the attachments it just kind of destroys the variant like if i take off the mag or the barrel i lose some of the shit that i have like some of the dragon like features if you know what i mean which is unfortunate so hopefully they fix that i i don't know if they will but other than that man this is good so i definitely recommend if you're going to buy any bundles in this game definitely invest in the Mastercrafts because they definitely feel like they're the most worth it out of everything. Um, they have a lot of pros to them, if, if you will. In terms of this bundle in particular, uh, you know, I definitely would say check out if you actually enjoy using the Krig first before you decide to buy it because obviously the variant is only for the Krig. Um... So if the Krig is a gun that you really enjoy using, and you're looking for something flashy, um, then this is definitely for you, and I would recommend it, because it's an amazing variant. But uh, if you don't like the Krig, then I probably wouldn't buy it, and, you know, maybe 
buy one of the other Mastercrafts. If you like the FFAR, there's the Dead Ops Arcade one. If you like the AK-47, you've got the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, like, rocket-looking one. I don't know what it's called, but... But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Actually a sick variant, if I do say so myself, so... I, I definitely think it was worth it. For my intents and purposes, uh, you can determine whether you want to get it from this video, of course. Uh, but yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day, and uh, until next upload, peace.